Today we're taking a look at the new ASUS ROG Strix G16 gaming laptop. As a part of ASUS's 2023 40 series laptop range, it aptly houses the RTX 4060 GPU, coupled with an Intel i5-13450HX CPU and 16GB of DDR5 RAM. Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Inside the box you'll find the power cable and brick, which both feel sturdy and reliable with the cable being a decent length, so you can play games on power wherever you are. For a 16-inch laptop, ASUS have managed to create a highly portable machine with it weighing only 2.5 kilograms while also being 3 centimeters thick. Looking at its overall design, it's clear who made this laptop as the typical ROG styling dominates every inch, giving the laptop extra flair and flavor. It features the signature angled vents along the rear and sides, plus the crosshatch vents on the base, really leaning into that gamer aesthetic. Above the rear exhaust vent is a small section with a painted speckled design, which Azus says is inspired by graffiti art and the cyberpunk aesthetic. I love seeing that they've kept that striking RGB strip that wraps around the front of the laptop. It really sets the tone in a dark room, dramatically spilling light across the table as you play. On the lid, however, they seem to have opted for a more understated design this time, focusing less on large logos and lights as seen on the G15, and simply going for this subtle triangular style ROG banner stemming from the bottom left corner. In terms of build quality, the ASUS G16 feels really well built. Yes, it may be a little on the heavier side, but I've come to expect this in a gaming laptop, but I don't mind if it means more connectivity options, and to be honest, the sturdier the better. With the metal plated lid and the hard wearing shell, I don't feel afraid of carrying it around and putting it in a bag, as I'm confident that it can handle it. Speaking of connectivity, there's no shortage of options here. On the right you'll find two 3.2 USB ports, but it's on the left side that it really holds the majority here. There's a 3.5mm audio jack, plus two USB Type-C ports, one for the display port and a second for the Thunderbolt 4 support, an HDMI 2.1 port, a LAN port for Ethernet connection, and finally the charging input. With the HDMI 2.1 being powered by the dedicated graphics card, you have the versatility to connect to a wide array of external monitors including 4K screens at 120Hz. As for the charging cable, it has the usual L-shaped jack that works best when plugged in with a wire leading to the back of the laptop. Now I'm not too fond of power inputs positioned on the side, but it does seem to tuck out of the way neatly enough, so it's not too distracting. The G16's touchpad improves comfort and usability from previous laptops, seeing as it's 10% larger, and also now comes with a glass coating, giving it a much more premium feel. It definitely feels nice to use, and is definitely responsive when performing various navigational gestures, and its click is also satisfying and easy to register. Speaking of the keyboard, it does have a very solid feel. Now there's practically no flex at all, unless you're pressing down unreasonably hard. The keys themselves also have a nice feel to them when typing, giving off very little sound as they're quite shallow. Luckily, they feel super responsive thanks to ASUS's overstroke technology, which works to reduce key actuation and make them more responsive, perfect for gaming and keeping up with the competition. As a gaming-focused laptop, it's clearly built with gamers in mind. I love that little touch of transparent designated gaming keys and spacebar, helping them shine brighter in dark conditions. It also includes a range of dedicated functions that sit just along the top for quick access to essential commands, such as volume and microphone controls, as well as the armory crate and aura hotkey for jumping straight into that customization. The keyboard also features large arrow keys on the right that allow for more accurate control in the heat of battle, which won't necessarily be useful for all users, but it is a thankful addition nonetheless. One of the crowning features here is of course that RGB lighting. Now it's not essentially too bright, but it definitely makes an impact in a dark room. You can of course customize the color of each key using ASUS's Armory Crate Command Center software, as well as set up RGB configurations game by game if you want to. But mostly I kept the usual animation presets on the brightest setting, and the lights do turn off automatically after a period of time to save battery power. The Armory Crate software comes pre-installed on the G16, which means you can get to customizing straight out of the box. It's you UI isn't the easiest to wrap your head around at first glance, and it does look rather complex, but after spending a bit of time looking through various menus, you can learn what each section does and how it can improve your experience using the laptop. I feel to get the best out of this laptop, this software is crucial to adapting the settings to get that best performance. It does often work on standard settings and seems to warn you often about various apps that may be utilising the GPU in the background, so you can keep on top of things without having to constantly keep checking the app. If you spend some time with it though, you can select 
select between a variety of GPU modes, either targeting the integrated graphics or the dedicated NVIDIA RTX 4060. Just playing a few games, it's incredibly helpful to have the Armoury Crate to hand, as it does help when monitoring internal thermals and tweaking fan speeds to keep it cool. Now I didn't get too deep into the customization side of things, but from what I did use, it seemed a valuable asset for making the most out of the gaming side of the performance. Overall though, it does offer a very in-depth level of customization in how the laptop performs, giving enough control to the enthusiastic player, as well as allowing enough automatic maintenance for the average user. Now I know the main issue for gaming laptops always come down to cooling and fan noise. Well, Asus have thought about this and have built such a sophisticated cooling system to help keep it running that it almost makes it a must-have feature for hardcore gamers. Considering it has so many powerful components, the G16's chassis and motherboard were both redesigned to accommodate the new full-width heatsink with three different sections, surrounding the motherboard with densely packed fins for more efficient cooling. Most gaming laptops do only have a dual fan cooling system, but the G16 was able to push the performance envelope even further with the introduction of a third fan that helps keep the GPU and VRAM cool. In use, the fans do stay pretty quiet and even under heavy loads, they don't become unbearably loud, but after an hour into playing games like Forza Horizon 5 and Atomic Heart on standard mode, the fans surprisingly stay deadly silent, keeping the body relatively cool throughout. The only time you'll really hear a noise increase is if you turn the component settings to ultimate in the armory crate, which you can hear an example of here. Temperature-wise, I did overall notice that the GPU never rose above 75 degrees Celsius. Looking a bit deeper into the laptop's specs, it houses an NVIDIA RTX 4060 GPU, a 10-core Intel i5 13450HX CPU, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, and a 512GB NVMe M.2 SSD. This is also one of the lower spec models in the lineup, as there are also versions with the RTX 4080 inside. But it's definitely not lacking in power or performance, both the RAM and the SSD are also upgradable, with a max RAM capacity of 32GB, the G16's large 16-inch display is actually a 16x10 IPS panel rather than the normal 16x9 1080p resolution, giving it a slight increase in pixel density, making even more detailed images. You do get a full HD panel with the support of up to 165Hz, plus features like Dolby Vision technology, adaptive sync and NVIDIA G-Sync support, which is great for regular browsing and watching movies, as well as supporting those beautifully detailed high resolution games. Now it also utilizes Pantone color validation, is factory calibrated to ensure that its colors are accurate to the Pantone palette, and I must admit that the colors on screen were impressive both when watching films and playing games. Now it's also perfect for creative types too, making sure the colors are accurate across all of your projects. It's also got one of the thinnest bezels that I've ever seen on a laptop, with an impressive 90% screen to body ratio, and I can hardly notice it at all when playing games at full screen. In terms of brightness, Azus claims that it hits 500 nits, but this is not something that we've been able to officially test. However, when at 100%, the screen does look bright across the board without feeling the need to alter it. I feel it performs much better in darker conditions, with the colours looking more vivid and that sharp definition coming through strong. But even in a bright light, there's hardly any instance of glare, thanks to its anti-glare coating, which also comes into effect with its super wide viewing angles. Just running a few display tests, I found none of those usual deformities. Showing a completely black image, the picture was consistently dark in both light and dark conditions, and in the solid colours, everything seemed accurate to the eye, and there was definitely no sign of dead pixels. This G16 model also boasts a refresh rate of 165Hz, which granted isn't the highest of speeds compared to some of the other laptops on the market, and even some of the more expensive ones in this range, but it still offers a highly competitive edge when playing those high-speed games. Now, knowing this laptop was specifically designed to play the latest titles at their best, I had high hopes for performance when gaming. It's a big claim to make, but I would say it easily exceeded those expectations. The upgrade to the next-gen Intel processor and the use of the 40 series GPU seem to be making an impact here. I downloaded Forza Horizon 5 and Atomic Heart from the Game Pass on the Xbox app and set them both to the settings suggested on launch. I also had the games running on performance mode and consistently plugged into the power whilst running the games. Forza Horizon 5 suggested low quality at first and though the gameplay wasn't horrendous, it did seem to work best on those higher settings. After running a benchmark at a mix of both high and ultra quality settings, 
settings. The results showed a fair few counts of stuttering and achieved an FPS of between 80 and 127. But when watching the benchmark run, it did play very smooth. If it was counting those inconsistencies, I honestly didn't see them. I could race at very high speeds, taking sharp corners and crashing through the desert, and I only saw the odd instance of tearing, with the majority of gameplay running buttery smooth. Playing Atomic Heart, I was very impressed with how well it coped with this new title. Of course, the display is only full HD resolution, but as it's a very visually interesting game, the colours popped, the picture was sharp and consistent, and again, I saw no discrepancies that disrupted the gameplay for me. Again, I played this on a high quality preset, and everything ran smooth with no lag, tearing, or crashes that I could see, which was a relief. Of course, as mentioned earlier, the fans did kick in after a few minutes of playing both games, but they are incredibly silent, and the keyboard area stayed cool enough even after an hour of gameplay. When it comes to battery life, you get a 4 cell lithium iron battery with 90 watt hours capacity. As I mainly played games here, I did have the laptop on mains power for the majority of the time. Though when I did have it on battery power, it did seem to last around 6 hours with constant use, and that's mostly playing videos on YouTube and sitting idle with a few apps open. Of course, it's always hard to tell what the battery life is going to be like, as everyone uses it differently, but mostly with the brightness on full and keeping it consistently on, I was still surprised with the battery retention overall. The G16 features virtual 5.1.2 channel surround sound powered by dual Dolby Atmos speakers. This creates an authentic soundstage and offers a more nuanced, layered sound for better immersion when playing games or watching movies. I was certainly impressed with the sound quality when testing it out on a few of the latest game trailers, and I thought the vocals and bass were clear and detailed. The volume was particularly impressive, belting out a solid sound that can be heard clearly across the room with only a little bit of distortion with the volume on max. But of course, don't take my word for it. Here are a few samples of the overall sound quality on 80% volume across a variety of content. Fix the centrifuge. Get the fuel running. <laughs> Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. I'm still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> In terms of audio input, the G16 does boast a two-way AI noise cancellation, which claims to remove external noises from both your own mic and from incoming feeds to give your calls and chats the utmost clarity. Its webcam is a 720p HD camera that's more than enough for your average work calls and chatting with friends. So overall, this is an impressive laptop, even when on the lower tier side of the range. Though it does boast a lot of the same features that can be found on some higher tier offerings, while not having many of the drawbacks and sacrifices, it's carefully considered design that makes it stand out with a gamer-centric vision that provides a whole host of customization options both in-game and in general use. Although you could opt for the higher spec model, the RTX 4060 GPU coupled with that i5 CPU are a great combination for most gamers, supporting some of the latest high-performance titles and offering an excellent price-to-performance ratio. So what are your thoughts on the ASUS G16? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to Box where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech.